Okay, so I cannot be the only one who gets sucked into these super fun and totally addictive online quizzes, right? Actually, I know that I'm not. Some of our Interact quiz creators have had hundreds of thousands of people take theirs, and we'd like to think that it's one of the most unique and interactive lead generation activities available today. But hey, don't just take my word for it. Businesses and brands like Primely Pure, Cassandra Shepard, Jenna Kutcher, Rick Mulready, and Oxfam have all created quizzes with our platform, Interact. Interact allows you to create these <laughs> online quizzes quickly and easily, and you can actually get started for free. So let's hop over to my computer and I'll show you how it's done. So to get started with your first quiz, you'll just want to go to the homepage and click on this big call to action button in the center. You can also go ahead to the top right and choose login or make your own quiz. They'll all lead you to the correct place. So we'll click on this and then you'll want to set up your account. Once you do that, you will be brought to a page that looks just like this. And it's going to ask you on the left-hand side here what your goal is with your quiz. And this is a great way to get inspired by some of the other quizzes that are out there and some of the templates that are available for you. So take some time to decide what you want your quiz to look like by browsing the available templates. And you can always click on preview to see what the quiz actually looks like in action. And once you've found one that you think you'll be happy with, you can go ahead and choose use template. So this here is what the main quiz editing interface is going to look like. So we'll check out this menu here on the side first. This is going to be our main navigation that we'll go through step-by-step step during this tutorial. Up here on the top, there is a style pane. So you can choose your quiz colors, which we definitely recommend changing by just clicking on each of the different options and adding in your own brand palette. So you can use the hex code here, or you can just drag this dropper around to find the color that's gonna be best for you. Editing these quiz colors can really help the quiz integrate seamlessly with your website and make it feel like it was made just for your brand. The text selection here allows you to choose from different Google fonts that are available, which as you can see, there are a ton of available fonts. So if you click on any of these, it will change the main text throughout the entire quiz. And then this image option here allows you to upload your logo if you choose to. Now hovering over any of the different sections of the quiz allows you to edit that section. So here we have our text, so we can easily change the title of the quiz. We can also edit our image by clicking on edit cover image and we can choose the cropping that we'd like it to have. We can also replace the image by searching for images, uploading our own image or pasting in a URL. And once you find one you like, again, you can crop it and you can also edit attribution. So this will allow you to link to the specific website or source that you got the image from. And once you're happy with everything, click on crop and save. Same thing here for the description. You can edit any of this and you can also edit the call to action. Now heading over on the left side to the questions tab, this is where we really get in to the heart and soul of the quiz. So since we're editing a template, we already have several questions built in here. Just like the quiz cover, you are able to edit any of these questions by simply clicking on the question and adding or removing. You can also edit the answers. You also might choose to show the question image or hide the question image, that's completely up to you. And you can also choose to use image answers or use text answers. Now, if you want to use image answers, you're going to need to click on those spots here and add an image by either searching for it, uploading it, or adding it by URL. Then we'll hover over here to this gear icon, which is our answer settings. We'll click on this and you can choose to allow your quiz takers to select multiple answers and then determine if there are any required answers or if there's a limit of answers that they can use. If you'd like your audience to choose the best answer, you'll wanna remove this and just allow them to choose one answer per question. 
And then over here is our results correlations. So once the quiz is complete, your audience will be provided a result, as you can see here over on this right side. You'll want to determine which question correlates to each result. And as they go through each of these different questions, it will give them a result based on the average answers that they provided. You'll also see these trash cans throughout the answers, which of course you can simply click on the trash can to delete an answer. You can also add answers and you can add as many of those answers as you'd like. Just make sure to fill in this text here once you are done adding your selections. Down here at the bottom also brings you to the results correlation once again, which we saw up here as well. So just make sure that you are setting that up properly so the people taking your quiz will actually get a result. At the bottom of the questions tab, there is an add new question option. And then you can also choose to animate or not animate the checkbox as answers are selected. We can turn on branching logic here if we'd like to. We have a great tutorial within this feature on the interface itself. So definitely recommend watching this two minute video to get a better understanding of how this feature works if you choose to use it. Next, we'll click on the results tab. So as you can see here, we have four different results set up. Determined go-getter, enthusiastic influencer, supportive mediator, and meticulous analyst. Now, just like the cover section and the question section, you can change any of these results to whatever makes most sense with your quiz. You can also choose to hide or show the result image, and you can also edit the image and we can replace this. And again, you can edit this description however you see fit. And as we can see on this one, we actually have our quiz creator introducing themselves at the bottom of the results. This is a great use of this space and a fantastic way to just build up that no like trust factor with your audience. So they're understanding who the face is behind this cool, interesting quiz. You might also choose to redirect your results. So let's say you want to create a YouTube video that goes in more depth about each of these results. You can choose to redirect to a particular web link. And in your case, it might be a YouTube link, or it could be a landing page link or a Google Drive link if you're gonna provide them with a download or whatever makes most sense to you. A lot of quiz creators choose to create their own results pages using landing pages via their web host in place of the interact results pages. The choice really is yours. And then you can also choose here if you want to show multiple results or if you just want quiz takers to see their single best result. Okay, on to lead generation. We're gonna go ahead and turn this option on. This is the option that you'll wanna turn on if you want to actually collect emails for people who take your quiz. We strongly recommend this if you're looking to generate leads from this quiz and if you're looking to build up your email list, it's a great way to do that. So first you'll want to select the contact fields that you're gonna ask for. We'll just do email, first name, and last name. We'll leave it to those ones for now. You can also add a new field. So if there's a custom field you wanna ask, maybe you want to ask if they were currently enrolled in one of your programs or how they found this quiz or really any open-ended question that you have. And then your form settings. You will want to choose whether or not you are allowing your users to skip the opt-in form. We do have some information if you hover over these eyes here as you go throughout this builder, if you're not sure about what option to select. You can also choose to display a link to your privacy policy and to enable GDPR compliant consent checkboxes on the opt-in form. Clicking on advanced settings will allow you to choose what the user sees if they receive an error message. So if their email address didn't register properly, it will default to saying, please enter a valid email address, but you can change this language if you prefer to. And then here you'll be able to edit your form content very similarly to the cover section. You'll just be able to click on any of these fields here and change them to your liking. You can also change the size of the call to action button and the color. We'll click on save and continue, and then we will connect our integration. So first you'll want to choose your email marketing program. 
We integrate with several of the top email platforms available, including MailChimp, MailerLite, Entreport, and so many more. Or you can also choose to just get a CSV download if you'd like to manually upload your emails or if you do not have an email platform that you're using at the moment. Next, let's go over to social settings. So if you want to get the maximum views on your quiz, we'd recommend leaving the social share buttons on. This will encourage quiz takers to actually share the quiz on their own social platforms with friends, but you can choose to turn it off. Maybe if this is a private quiz that you're only using for a certain group, and then you can also select which social share buttons you'd like to turn on. Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn are the platforms that you can choose from. And then you can also decide where you'd like the social share buttons to display, either above the result image, above result description, below result description, or you can also show these buttons throughout the entire quiz on the left or right hand side. You can customize your social share link or where the social share is actually going to lead people back to you. And you can also customize the social share image as well as the heading and the language that's used when somebody shares the quiz. Lastly, we'll go to conversion tracking. So if you are planning to run ads or analyze your data using Facebook pixel or Google analytics, this section should definitely be set up to start we'll add a Facebook pixel in by clicking on add Facebook pixel. You'll simply enter in your pixel ID, which you can find in your business manager settings. And then you will choose which quiz events are registered as custom events in your pixel. And you can choose which of these you'd like to activate. So we'll go ahead and choose view lead and all of the different results. And you can also confirm your standard events and click on advanced will allow you to confirm when page view events are triggered. Google Analytics is a very similar process. You'll just click on add Google Analytics and enter in your tracking ID. These are the events that we track and clicking on advanced will allow you to also determine when events are tracked based on these particular event actions. And lastly, you can enable tracking consent and customize your tracking consent message here. Now, once you're satisfied with your quiz content, you can always click on this I up here in the top right corner. This is going to give you a preview of your quiz. Copying this preview URL keeps your quiz private, but you can share it if you'd like to ask your team for any feedback or to go through it a couple of times, because as they say, two eyes are always better than one. So it's a great idea to do that without having to set your quiz live and have it be public to the world quite yet. But once you're happy with it, you can go ahead and click on publish and your quiz will go live. There are several options here for you to get your quiz out into the world. You can copy the direct link. You can also choose embed code and choose between iframe, JavaScript, or WordPress. You can add an announcement bar onto your website using either JavaScript or WordPress. You can add a pop-up using JavaScript or WordPress or you can promote your quiz as a Facebook ad. All right, we'll stop there for today. Those are all of Interact's major features. And if you watched up until this point, you should now have the tools you need to create your first online quiz. If you want more in-depth information about every single feature that we have, be sure to check out the link down in the description box for detailed tutorials, examples of quizzes in action, and to access our help center. And of course, like I said earlier, Interact is free to sign up. So if you haven't yet, be sure to head over to tryinteract.com to get started. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you in the next one. Bye.